There's a bit of a trick to assembling a keeper loop strap. Slide all your keepers on before you put any bells on and then install the bells at both ends first working working toward the middle. So the very last bell that goes on the strap will be one of the bigger bells. I've already installed the first small bell at this the billet end of the strap and slid a keeper in place next to it. So now I'm going to go to the other end and I'll show you in real time how I would do that. I'm going to install the bell in the bell strap, wrap a bell pin in place, crimp the bell pin closed so it looks like a figure eight, and then slide a keeper loop next to it. If you need more room, just move the keepers. In this particular case, I need to slide a keeper next to the bell I've just installed on that end. Now I'm going to install the, the, the bell on over here because I've got plenty of room to work. So now I've finished the sleigh bell strap up to the point where I need to put the last two bells on. I have two keepers here and then the, this one will be slid to be between these two bells um, and then I have the matching or keepers between the bells here and here. So it looks pretty good. It, it gets pretty tight right here even though we're working between uh, in the middle of the of the strap where the distance between the bells is the largest. So it's possible gently pull the lining strap to get a little bit more room to work. I've moved my extra keeper over here so I have just one keeper in this particular place and uh, trust me you, you can sometimes put two in that place and you don't want to do that. Slide a bell pin in place, adjust it a little bit, crimp it closed, to move the pooch over where the last bell needs to go. I have my two keepers next to these bells, so this bell needs to go in the center here. And now what I'm going to do is just pull the strap to align all of the leather and let it slide where it needs to go. Adjust the keepers to be between the bells, so that looks nice. And there we go. The top strap where the bells are installed is a little bit longer than the lining strap, but once all of the um, excess uh, leather gets distributed between all of the different the bells along this strap, it looks fine. And the other thing about it is, I can bend this then and get a nice nice bend. If I bend it really tight, then I, you can kind of see the leather start to pooch up. But just a gentle bend, and it's not too bad.